All right, Caitlin. Yes. What are you uh, making today in your today kitchen? Today we're going to be making really simple homemade pizza. And we're going to put um, some local squash on it and also some local old windmill dairy, tomato, chef, and some lemon juice on it too. Lemon, zucchini, goat cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Cookie here at the co-op kitchen. We're making some really simple homemade pizza dough. Um, so the recipe calls for one and a half cups of flour. You can replace half of that with whole wheat flour, which is exactly what I did. So we have half whole wheat flour, half um, unenriched, unbleached white flour. And into that we'll mix our other dry ingredients, which is active dry yeast, a tea, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of that, salt, a teaspoon of that, and then a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we mix all that together. And then we'll stir in some lukewarm water, about half a cup. But well, as you can see, you're adding the water. If you find that you need more water, it's okay to add more water. So you can see here that this is the consistency of our dough right now. That probably needs a little bit more water. That seems a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water just to make sure that I'm bringing it all together. Remember, you can add a liquid, but you can't take it out. So you want to knead it until it's well incorporated and then form it into a ball. And then after you formed it into a nice little ball, it's going to be a little springy, but you don't want it to be sticking to your hands. You want it to be pretty dry. I'm going to lightly oil uh, another bowl, put it in the bowl, and let it rise for about an hour or two until it's doubled in size. Here again, and after we've rated a couple of hours for our dough to rise, I cut it in half, so we're going to make two different pizzas today. We're just going to get all that air out and flatten it out. It's best to do this on a lightly floured surface, or else you'll be fighting with the table for that dough. So we're just going to flatten that out with your fingers. <clears throat> There's no problem with getting messy here. What I always say, the messier the better. Just flatten that out, and it should be a good 12 inch round. We like thin crusts, so we got a nice round thin crust. Okay, right, now on to our goat cheese. We're doing two different kinds of pizza today. We're going to do the lemony local zucchini pizza. And with that, we're going to be using some of the sun-dried tomato chef from Old Windmill Dairy. So I'm going to mix that in a mixing bowl. I should probably have a mixer. And it's best if you let that goat cheese sit out at room temperature for a little bit. It'll just mix so easy. We're going to use the juice of half a lemon. So roll it out a little bit, get those juices working. Just mix that up. And then we also have a little bit of uh, freshly ground black pepper. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little. This is going to be the taste, so if you're a peppery person, go ahead and go crazy with that. So then we're just going to go ahead and plop that right on that dough and spread it out. All right, and next we've got some fresh basil that we're going to be chopping up real thinly. So we've got some local basil here. It's best to wash it. It can get pretty dirty and gritty out here in the desert. So we're going to slice it real thin. The best way to do this is go ahead and just stack the leaves on top of each other and roll them up. And then just take the knife and slice real thinly through all of those. And then you've got some really nice thin slices of uh, 
local fresh basil here. So we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle that around this pizza. And I'm going to save half for the other pizza as well. We're going to have a lot of basil pizzas today. And then next we're going to slice up some zucchini real nice. We've got some local zucchini as well coming in these days. So you want to make sure your knife is sharp, as sharp as you can get it. Just slice off the ends of that. And if you've got a mandolin, go ahead and use a mandolin on one of the thinnest settings. You want to make sure that they're pretty evenly sliced, though, uh, so that they cook evenly throughout when you're making the pizza. So I'll slice some good uh, zucchini up, and then go ahead and just place that around in a big concentric circle around your pizza. If you've got other squash lying around, got some crook neck, go ahead and slice that up real good too. Put that on the pizza as well. I mean, it's your pizza, you're going to eat it. Put whatever you want on it, that's what I say. You take the other half of the lemon that we cut earlier and squeeze a little bit more lemon juice on it. A little bit more black pepper. A little bit of salt. And this is just to taste. You can drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it too. There we go, and there's the pizza all ready for you. And then go ahead and slip it into the oven at 450 degrees for about 10-15 minutes until it's all crispy and bubbly. <laughs> 